how's it going everyone welcome back to another video um today this is my first uh hga submission so um with everything going on at psa and how back backed up they are i uh, exploring the other grading companies that are out there uh i already did a video for uh, sgc so this is my video for the hga uh, this is my first um submission i did with them i do have a second one that i did that should be coming in uh either later this week or early next week so i do have one more submission coming in from them so i will do a video when i get those ones um, so this one as my first submission i just sent in uh four cards um two are pc cards and then two of them uh, will be posted on my ebay let's see wow they didn't even bother to uh wrap them up They're sitting in there It'll be interesting to see what we get here. Uh, the first two cards are the PCs, and then the last two are the ones that I'm gonna try to post. Uh, so the first one that I did was a uh, Halliburton Revolution rookie card. Uh, it's the Chinese New Year edition. Got a nine. Nine and a half on corners, nine and a half on surface. Nine on edges, what's wrong with it? I don't really see an issue with the edges, but okay. Centering. So, got a nine overall. I like the, I do like the label though. I'm gonna take it out of this thing. That's a really big bag. So I got a nine overall. Uh, I really like the label though, that came out really nice. There's a little bit of the red for the red in there. But. So there's the Halliburton rookie from Revolution. Got a nine. I'm interested to see what this one got. Um, this one uh, is a passing the torch of Dwayne Wade and Kendrick Nunn. Um, Otto got a ten, so that's good. Uh, curious to see what it got though because I did send this one um to ps uh yeah to ps yeah psa and uh when i sent it in i had it set to um uh, nothing below a nine so nine autograph or nine um on the card grade i didn't want it slabbed if it got anything less than a nine and they sent it back to me saying that it something did not meet the criteria and i'm really not sure why so i'm curious to see what they gave it um, obviously the autograph was a 10, so it wasn't the autograph. So I'm curious to see what the card itself got. And the card itself got a 9.5. Okay. So according to PSA, this card, which is the gold version out of 10, you can see down there, 4 out of 10. Um, according to them, this, uh, according to PSA, this was... Uh, below a nine on the auto and or the, and or the card and uh, as you can see you got a nine and a half and a ten on the auto so uh, not quite sure what uh PSA was looking at but this was one of the ones that they did not grade because they felt it did not meet the requirement of a nine on either the card or the auto and it got a nine and a half and a ten so there you have it so happy with that one that's a nice one I'm glad that one was a nine and a half Not holding on to that one it's my only card to Dwayne Wade Auto uh, we pulled this one this is this year's uh, downtown of Ronald Acuna Jr. out of Diamond Kings is where you get these cards. Uh, there was some surface issues with this one, so uh, it's not going to be a 10, but uh, we'll see. Got a 9.5 though. 
So you can see right there is the nick. And it got a ding for it because that's the only thing that's wrong with it surface wise is that little nick right there. So nine and a half is pretty good on that one. Pretty happy with that. And this one is one of the ones that we'll uh, I'll be selling. Uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. Downtown nine and a half. It's, it's a nice card right there. That's from this year's Diamond Kings. That's how you get these. There's the downtown, which got a nine, so we'll put nine and a half, so put that one there. Oh, and the last one is the uh, Spencer Torkelson uh, from Bowman's Best last year. Auto. Not quite sure what to expect out of this one. Got a 10 on the auto and a 9. Alright. 9.5 on the centering, 9 on the edges, which I'm not sure what's wrong with the edges. I mean, it's a chrome. I can see on the surface because it does have a couple um, print lines there. You can see um, in the corners. I don't see a rounded corner. I thought this would have been at least a nine and a half for sure. I mean, those are sharp corners. Huh? I don't know. I don't know how that got a nine. Uh, it is what it is at this point. It's in the slab. It's a bummer. So those are the four I sent in. It's, like I said, this is my first submission with them. I do have a second submission um, that should be coming back later this week. Uh, when I get that one, uh, I'll do another video. But those are the four. The most interesting one out of the bunch was my uh, pass on the torch that PSA said was not even close to a nine. And didn't even bother grading it. And it came back a 9.5 and, and a 10. So. Another one of those mystery PSA mysteries. You know what were they. What were they looking at when they were grading this. To where they didn't even think it was worthy of a 9. But yet 9.5, 10. So. I thought this easily was a 9. PSA 9 no problem. And they told me it was not. So. It is what it is. Four out of ten. Beautiful card. And then the Acuna one. Nine and a half. I do like how they do the labels. That probably, to me, the label is probably the coolest thing with these slabs. So, like even on this one. Looks a little more red than orange. But I mean with the navy and then... The attempted orange. This one's really clean though. Oh, those are my those are the ones I sent in. Those are the ones I got back first. This was my first submission with them. Uh, for the most part, happy with what I got. Um, I wish that Torkelson would have been better, but it is what it is. I knew there was some print line issues on it, but uh, I thought everything else was okay with it. And, uh, Came back a nine, so we'll see what we can do with that one. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Till next time.